Hello, my name is Chuck Hadamer and I'm the co-founder here at Poplar Homes. Today, I'm going to provide an overview of the Poplar owner dashboard for landlords. So let's dive into it. The goal of Poplar's owner dashboard is to keep landlords updated in near real time about the status and performance of their rental portfolio. This really increases transparency and efficiency because you don't need to chase down your property manager for information. So let's dive into the Poplar Owner Dashboard and take a look at some of the features that are available to all Poplar owners. First, we'll start with the home screen. To access your Poplar Owner Dashboard, go to poplarhomes.com and click Login, and then you're gonna go ahead and log in. And I'm just gonna make myself smaller here so you can see. So once you're logged in, you'll be able to see a high level overview of, of everything going on in your rental portfolio. At the top, you can cycle between any new properties that are pending sign up, and you can complete your listing details, set up a call with us to sign up for management, and we'll dive more into that later. Next below that, we have some helpful FAQs explaining more about how we do things here at Poplar. We've answered questions such as how you receive rent payouts, how maintenance is handled, and more. To the right of the FAQ section is a timeline summary for any properties um, that are being prepared for leasing. It basically shows the marketing readiness of each property and the current status. Next, we have a leasing inquiries overview section, which we'll go into later and an application overview, which shows you all the current uh, active applications for your properties, whether they're pending or ready for your review. And then lastly, we have the maintenance request section, uh, which we will dive into later as well. Next, we'll talk about the account page. This tab easily lets you connect your bank account for rent payouts and update your tax information for the year-end 1099 form that we need to send you for taxes. These are both important steps for the dashboard. So let's take a look at the account page. On the account page, uh, you have profile details where you can edit your name and contact information. Next, under tax details, uh, this is really important. Um, where we need your uh, SSN and mailing address so that we can generate that 1099 at the end of each year. And we don't have any trouble in getting at that. And keep in mind, all information entered here is secure and encrypted with bank level security. Next is bank details. On this tab, you can automatically or manually link your desired bank account for rent payouts. Uh, to automatically connect your bank, you simply just click auto link here auto link bank account. And then you're simply going to find your bank account on the list. You select your bank. You may have seen this feature in other platforms. And then you're just going to enter in your login information that you would use for that online bank account. This will securely and automatically connect your account for rent payouts. It's the same system you might see on other services such as Robinhood. Alternatively, you can manually link your bank account. Uh, by selecting manually link and in here you can enter in uh, your bank accounts routing numbers as well as account numbers and uh, manually link the right type of account once you connect your account we'll be able to pay out the rent to you keep in mind some customers may notice their bank account is already set up if our team assisted you with connecting your account to begin with and then lastly you can change your password here um, in the account page Next, let's talk about how you can monitor leasing performance and see applications for your property. This data is available whenever you have a vacant property that we are actively marketing at Poplar Homes. You can see a summary of leasing performance on your home screen of your dashboard. And the home screen, you can, you can cycle between different properties. You can click in to see a more detailed report. And this will show all the inquiries and tours that, and applications that we're receiving for your property. You can also access this through the properties page and click on the leasing properties.
For any new properties that you sign up, you can quickly complete the onboarding steps on your owner dashboard. Simply find the con complete listing option right here and follow the steps to see what is left to onboard your property. You can see there's four major steps from signing up, scheduling a call with our team uh, to, to sign your property management agreement, and then lastly, activating your listing. You can check the status of each property that you're onboarding, and here's an example of what that would look like when you're setting up a new property. Here's an example of booking the call to, with our team as well. These are just for new properties signed up. Maintenance tickets for your property can be viewed under the maintenance tab. Within the maintenance tab, you'll see a list of all past and present maintenance tickets along with a high level summary of the status and maintenance ticket ID. You can also access this maintenance tab at the bottom of the home screen here um, where you see maintenance requests and you can click on see full maintenance. In the future, you'll be able to access more details about these maintenance tickets and we'll get a sneak peek of what that looks like. But wait, there's one more thing. We have some powerful new financial reporting features coming very soon for all Poplar owners. Financial reporting is one of our most requested features. So this new financial dashboard will give you a holistic overview of all income and expenses for your rental portfolio. You'll be able to see things like your total earnings, any upcoming rent payouts, expenses, a monthly revenue overview, and a full transaction log and ledger. When you dive into the details on a particular property, you'll get full transparency on the status of any pending rent payouts. You can easily add date filters or cycle between other properties as well. The ledger, like I said, is one of the most highly requested features, and that's why we're making drastic improvements launching soon for all Poplar owners as of this video. It may already be live for you now. With your new ledger, you'll have a view of all income and expense transactions. You can also dive into the specific transactions on a particular property. Um, and in the property ledger, you can view total income and expenses for that particular rental. You can see the timing of any rent payouts and view specific maintenance issues or requests. And all of this will be on the ledger tab. Here's an example of what it looks like to see the maintenance invoices. Uh, you can actually download the maintenance invoices. So this is all coming soon. And then lastly, we have a powerful filtering engine uh, that allows you to filter for any types of specific dates or types of maintenance. And that's the financial reporting dashboard. This is coming soon for all Poplar homeowners. As of this video, it may already be live for you today, um, but go ahead and check it out. And that will drastically improve the ledger features that we have available. And that's it. So thanks for tuning in today to learn a little bit more about how the Poplar Homes owner dashboard works. And I hope uh, you learned a little bit. If you have any questions, uh, please go ahead and contact us um, at support at poplarhomes.com. Thanks so much.